direct painting in four values. This is how it works. First of all, you have to put on miskin uh, so that you protect the whites on the paper that you can see in the photo on the uh, architecture. And so I'm painting with a uh, round brush, or no, I think there's a flat brush, uh, with, uh, with miskin in my brush. Now remember, you put soap in the uh, brush before you put miskin in it so you can get the miskin out of it after it dries. So I'm looking here and just seeing where are the whites I should uh, reserve. Now I'm going to go for value two. Now value two instead of value one, value one is the white of the paper. Now value two is the next value that I would uh, put on and I can paint all the way through everything because of the fact that I've got miskin on and I'm protecting the, uh, the paper. And also this particular value is a, is a uh, automatic uh, guarantee that the uh, picture will be unified because of this basic, basic value. When you do this in color, you can change colors of that value if you wish to, but in this video it's just the black and white, just to emphasize the, uh, the values that, uh, <coughs> that you must have, and also limiting the number of values, which is only four instead of ten. And so that makes you want to join shapes together uh, because you only have uh, four values. Now value three is the next value that you put on and that gives form to the uh, this picture. Now you can see I put the value down so it is a little bit darker than the value that I have on there. Now you don't want to make that first value, value two, too dark. Because if you do, then you got to make this much darker. So that, uh, that's a, just a, a hint or a, a tip that you want to do when you do this exercise. Now I'm going to use a, a flat quarter inch brush because in that particular way I don't have to, and that, that doesn't allow me to draw with it. I'm just blocking in shapes carefully and I'm going to start out with the, uh, the roof of the, uh, of the picture. Uh, you can look at the uh, picture over to the upper right hand corner and you'll be able to uh, to see where I am painting on that and how I am following that uh, that particular photo. Now there's a porch on this and it's going to be dark inside and then there's pillars. Now by the way uh, the misket has been rubbed off in this particular case so I can't paint right through it. Uh, and it's good you do rub the misket off between that step, this step, because the fact is is that it'll look like it's been painted with misket and reserved if you do it after this. So in other words, remember to lift the misket off before you go to this step. And this is uh, the railings that are in the front that I'm, uh, I'm putting and looking very carefully. You can see how slow that I am doing this because the fact is I'm thinking exactly how where I want this value to uh, to go and uh, it, it uh, defines the form the background shapes like for instance this shape right here with a window and that is a, uh, an add-on to this uh, particular building a little bit of a shadow there and, uh, I, and there's some decoration so I'm going to put that on with the tip of with the corner of my brush, just drawing it in. And there's uh, some uh, line drawing that goes on top of that. You can see that that value that's underneath uh, is holding this together. It's, it's sort of like uh, uh, underpainting, uh, like a coat rack. And all of these dark shapes now are, are hung on to that particular value. And you can see if I made that first the value too too dark, then I'd have to make this really really dark. And so uh, I've, I think I lucked out here by having the right value. And then this uh, this is called a number three value, uh, which we have number four, which is pretty dark. And so and that's very very limited uh, to what you're going to be putting on. 
And so there's the division between the, uh, the two sides. There's a, a reflection that I'm going across. Maybe a tree is going across the, uh, the uh, side of the, uh, the building, kind of de decorates it just a little bit more. And, uh, you know, and this is where you try these things, even though they're not in the photograph, but you try them on this particular uh, value sketch because this is what it's for. It's, uh, it's to experiment and find out what is needed. Now, in this particular case, I have nothing in front of this building, so I'm going to put in a tree that will overlap that, that building. And then uh, going down to the uh, ground, uh, just putting some shadow shapes and a uh, little bit to show where the end of the building is and then shadows from that tree uh, going across from right to left. The steps that lead up to the uh, up to the uh, porch <clears throat> and let's see let's bring that down just a little bit more so it would define that particular shape and then I cast a shadow across the uh, front of it so it kind of frames it it's going to uh, frame it in now I'm looking at it and thinking I know I should put some uh, shadows uh, from the siding that will uh, go across the, uh, the building and so I'm looking for little details and little hints that I can put in with this middle number three value and uh, I'm looking at how it touches the top of the of the, of the paper Uh, you can see this is three quarters of the painting in value three. All the detail. Uh, see, here comes my my the the shadows of the siding. I I could change my brush right now and use a rigger. This is the what the painting looks like when it's completely done with the black added. You can see the black added to the uh, lean tool or the addition. The black underneath the uh, the addition leading up to the steps and also some bushes that are right on front. Well, thank you uh, for uh, for watching the video and uh, and happy success with your work.